Hi, this is Channing Humphrey with Semi Pro Live. I'm here with the victorious Seattle Titans. Came a long way across country, putting a smackdown on the boys from Corpus Christi. So I'm here with the head coach, Coach Williams, man. So tell us, man, a little bit more about your team, where you guys come from, what league you're in, and how your season went. So we are from Seattle, Washington, up in the northwest. I don't know if y'all know where that's at. Okay. Act like this we is, don't. <laughs> this is this is the beautiful. We, we this is the 12. We represent Seattle, Washington, the Seattle Titans. We're out of the Northwest Premier uh, League up there. These guys are 10-year-olds. I got some 9-year-olds on this team. I even got some 8-year-olds on this team. Uh, you know, we just came and put this team together strictly for development. We didn't come to try to win nothing. We didn't come to be special. Every, every last one of these kids are here to be developed and be a better player for their season, for regular season, not off. This is an off-season team, and we got regular season. Well, you guys are definitely doing some great work with these young men. One thing I have to say, you guys are one of the more disciplined teams that I've seen play since I've been doing youth football. So, I mean, it's always a great compliment for the coach. So, man, how are you able to put together a team like this with all the things going against you as far as COVID, school starting back up, and other sports? How are you able to keep these kids locked in like this? It wasn't me. It's their desire. It's what they want to do. They want to play football. I just give them a platform. That's all I can do. All right, Coach. Well, hey, if you've ever watched our show, it's all about the kids. We're going to ask you to step back. We're going to bring it over to the stars of the show. Let's go ahead and get a hand from from the parents of mine. Yeah. Now, oh, hey, if you watch the show, I'm all about big man love. As a former lineman myself, I'm definitely going to start with big dog. Uh, we got social distance. But <laughs> we're going to start with big dog. Introduce yourself to our audience. I'm KD. All right, man. So what position do you play and what school do you attend? I go to Arlington and I play... Um, Left tackle and um, de I mean, I play um, offensive line and um, defensive tackle. Now, man, uh, before I get over to the guys who are running behind you, you were a unique star out there today. Your blocking on offense led to all the touchdowns. And what you were able to do on defense, not using strength or speed, just being more savvy than the offensive lineman, walking through those B-gaps for those early sacks, man, having a big impact on defense. Why were you able to be so effective today? I mean, um, when I so they they should have so what we do right on offense we fill in the gaps but we have space because um, boys space and stuff but what they did they just had to spread out one when I the first play when I got back in there the lineman just went like the other way so I I saw the hole went in there got the quarterback and they just gotta what that what I Work on spacing? Yeah, spacing. I mean, that's what I noticed. I had to go over and after after I watched you kill him for about five plays, I finally told the coach, like, you might want to have that tackle slide down. But great veteran play coming out of a young kid, man. Now let's slide over to the running back, man. All right, we're going we're gonna to swing back to the quarterback. Now, now you look cold, but I got to get over here to these other guys. We're going to swing back over here as you were able to put on some great passes today. But we got number 11, man. He is able to score all the rushing touchdowns today except for one. Came in here with an ankle injury. What was it about you today that you were able to overcome that injury and still put on a great performance? Um, I was just – it hurt, but I was just pushing through it. So that's all. all right, man, so what was it about your offensive line and your running style that allowed your team to be so successful on the ground today? My offensive line was doing great. They were getting good blocks for me. They're doing. They're doing great. All right, let's swing over to the man himself, number fourteen. I have to declare it. He's player of the game. Now it doesn't matter that number eleven put up all them touchdowns. Anytime a fat man, he's not that fat, but he plays defensive lineman, and he had two interceptions today. That almost automatically makes you player of the game, man. So what was it about their team that allowed you to be so active? in the secondary even though you were a defensive lineman today the running back was just standing there when when i was in the backfield the running back was just standing there i picked the ball off and, and they tackled me so yeah all right man and you're also able to take advantage of the high pitches when they were trying to swing it to the outside what did you see on those plays that they're not running them right all right man hey, a, a man of few words we're going to swing over here to the captain of the show. And we got to get this kid on here. This uh, I, He's younger than 12. He's almost as tall as me. And the man was throwing dimes 
Unfortunate for him, his running backs were just running so good, we didn't have an opportunity to see him more as he might have made a play for the player of the game, man. So, man, what was it about their secondary that allowed you to be so accurate the few times that we did get to see throw the ball around today? Um, it was mostly just my uh, pre-reading the defense, looking at the linebackers and the safeties. So what were you seeing out of that linebacking quarter let you know that they'd be susceptible to those slant patterns? They were being lazy and they were blitzing a lot. All right, all right. Well, I mean, to me personally, this game is going to be a lesson of – preparation your team was out here a whole hour and a half before the other team it looked like you guys were able to go through all of your playbook do you feel like that gave you an advantage today yes all right man well hey it's been a long day you guys have come across the country put on a great performance we have a reoccurring theme we always let the players of the game choose the message that you guys want to send to your next opponents so you guys have already started off with a big splash what do the other teams in the Smash Mouth tournament need to know about the Seattle Titans going forward? Who's going to call it out? Uh, number 11. Oh, okay, well, I'll let both of y'all get it. Come here for Marquise. Um, can't beat us. <laughs> We're Seattle Titans. And we coming to play. Well, they keeping it simple. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and let the Titans break this one out. Turn it on me, turn it on three. One, two, three. Titans! We'll see you guys next time on Semi-Pro Live.